Santa Barbara Baker setting you up for success, baking larger pizzas in your Uni Coda 16 pizza oven. If you bought an Uni Coda 16, probably one of the reasons was you can bake larger pizzas in it. That 13 to 16 inch range is pretty sweet feature of this oven. If you tried it though, you might have run into problems with that back left corner being super hot, burning the crust before the front of your pizza sets and you're able to make that first turn. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to get your oven set up and show you how to bake a larger pizza in that range with success. The first thing you wanna do is give your Unicoda 16 a full preheat. By full preheat, what do I mean? The manual says 20 minutes. I don't think it's enough. You might be hitting your temp gun, getting those temps, but I don't think it's enough. Let it go at least 30 minutes for the whole oven to get nice and hot all the way out to the mouth of the oven. That's gonna be great for baking those larger pizzas. Once we got it nice and hot, start stretching the pizza or even before just you start stretching it, turn the oven just down to the normal low. That'll settle out that temperature, that super high heat in the back, but we still have the front of the oven nice and hot. And by the time we load it, it should be at that sweet spot that we can bake that larger size without burning that crust. I'm gonna go get my pizza stretch. I'll meet you back here at the oven. It's pizza time. Bring up my large cheese pizza. It's hanging over the side of a 14 inch peel. See how that goes. Always a little bit tricky when they're hanging out the side, but if you gently kind of shimmy it off here, into the own any kind of 16. Hopefully we'll have some luck get the timer started. I already, like I was saying, heated up the oven to full blast. But what, when I started stretching, turn it down, that's letting the oven, that back left corner cool down a little bit. Give us a chance to bake a little bit longer, get a little bit longer time before that first turn. See how it's going in here. The load went pretty good. I think I'm a little bit close to that back end there. Maybe should have loaded a little bit closer to the oven, but this is pretty maxed out right now. Not quite 16, but still pretty sweet. All right, got some cheese melting, all looking really good. Once I see this crust starting to set a little bit up here, I can start thinking about a turn. Hopefully the back there doesn't burn. That's the whole idea with letting the oven cool down a little bit. We still want that full preheat though. You wanna make sure that stone is hot all the way out to the edge here. All right, this thing's looking good. I'm seeing the cheese melt up here, up front. Some puffage coming up, looking heady for sure. Thinking about a first turn here. I'm seeing some smoke coming up. We don't want it to burn. Gonna free the bottom here, going in for our first little turn here. Looking so far, so good. A little bit sticky there. Oh, I got it, here we go. There we go. Nice first turn here. Gonna keep this thing going. We'll keep it on the regular low setting here for the first part of it, do a full turn, and then we'll go into that ultra low zone to finish. The ultra low zone, if you've been watching San Barbara Baker, you've been hearing about it, that's the way to allow your Unicoda 16 to bake a little bit longer at a lower temperature. You just go on that dial clockwise up to the max point, push in past that little stop point there and then you're into the ultra low zone and you can get that flame down nice and low, a nice longer bake for that more like New York style or whatever you want to call it. Keep an eye on the pizza here. All right, not quite ready for a turn here. That's the nice thing when you turn down the oven a little bit, you have a little more wiggle room. We're up to two minutes here. Sorry guys, I missed it on my first turn. I was concentrating on the pizza, making sure we have a good meal here. It's looking so far so good, it's looking bomb. All right, one is going here for another turn. This one's looking really nice. A little oversized here. Well, yeah, I think this is maxing out a little more than 14. I feel it's a really nice size for the Coda 16. 16 is really pushing it, I feel like. All right, I'm thinking about ultra low zone now. And it's finishing up this edge. is looking a little bit light back there, but a little more browning set in. Go into that ultra low zone. I'll spin the pizza around. One more time and we'll hit that ultra low, crisp it up. It's looking pretty dank here. Definitely a good looking pie. Going for the little more crispy, like, you know, hybrid style New York Neapolitan. See, that looks light there to me. We'll get that back into the hotter part of the oven there. How is that bottom looking? Let me get a little peek under there. Looking really nice. Let this thing finish up. We got to go ultra low zone here clockwise up to the max point pushing in now we're in there see that flame super low now finishing up we're a little over three minutes now keep the bottom here 
It's looking pretty good. That back left corner there is always so hot, but yeah, we're not getting that weird rim. I know a lot of people complain about sometimes with the Coda 16. That's where your heavier crust and just, you know, if your deck temperature is not where it needs to be and your dough temperature isn't either, you know, you end up with kind of a burnt rim around the edge. This is looking pretty good. I think it's finishing up right now. How can I tell? You're lifting up with my turning peel here. I see it's got a little bit of stiffness in it. All really good things. Smelling delicious. Got some oregano on there, perfuming the neighborhood. The pizza shop vibes. Let's pull this thing out. Take a little look. I think this thing is finishing up here. We're a little over four minutes. A nice length, a nice length of time for a bake of this pizza. A pizza of this size in the Kota 16. A little 14 inch here, thin and crispy vibes on this one. Looking so bomb. All right, let's get this thing done. It's looking really nice. I guess, what are we gonna shoot here for? Almost a 4.30, should I take it all the way to five minutes? A five minute bake in the Kota 16. Well, let's check the bottom. It's looking pretty good. I think it's almost there. That crust though is looking a little light there in the back, you know, maybe I turned it down to the ultra low zone a little too soon. Yeah, the pizza could have used one more spin or something, getting a little more browning. You can also dome your pizza, taking the pizza up to the top, get a little more browning or cheese meltage action, but the cheese is melting fine here. I think this thing is almost about done here. It's looking really good. Almost up to five minutes. We'll just call it here at the five minute mark, a five minute bake. I'm showing you how to bake a large pizza in your Unicoda 16. Let's pull this thing out, take a look. It's looking pretty dank to me. I mean, this thing looks fire most to me. It's, you know, you're never gonna get the classic New York style in the Kota 16, but you can do a hybrid something like this, and this looks so bomb. Cheese melted, look at that crust holding up. Really bomb here, get it onto the rack. As we always do, let it hang out, let that crust set. 20 seconds to a minute. Take a look here, check out the bottom. You know, maybe this could have used a little bit, you know, it's a little dark here maybe, but overall this pizza is looking really good. The bottom here, check it out. The nice leoparding on the bottom all the way around. And you can pick up this pizza and just, you know, pick it up in my hands here like this. You know, this is when you're having a good time. If this is the kind of pizza you like, at least we're going for that hybrid style, the larger pizza baked in the Unico 16. Check out my recipes on SantaBarbaraBaker.com. That's where you can find my dough and all my pizza recipes. Check me out on Instagram at SantaBarbaraBaker. I love you all. Keep dreaming about pizza, making pizza. One love.